Councilman Jones, Councilperson Clark, Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Good morning, Ms. Marconi. Our first bill, please. Bill number 190151, an ordinance to amend the Philadelphia zoning maps by changing zoning designations to certain areas of land located with an area bounded by 21st Street, Oxford Street, 20th Street, Jefferson Street, and Ridge Avenue. Okay. All right, thanks. Good morning, Mr. Gregorski. Good morning, Chair Greenlee, members of the Rules Committee. I'm Marty Gregorski, Division Director with the Development Division of the Philadelphia City Planning Commission. I'm here to testify on Bill number 190151, which was introduced in the City Council on March 7th of this year by Council Member Greenlee on behalf of Council President Clark. Bill number 190151 amends the Philadelphia zoning maps by rezoning a small section of 20th Street between Jefferson and Oxford Streets from RSA 5 residential single family to CMX 3 commercial mixed use. The Philadelphia Housing Authority originally planned to build houses on the back of a proposed shopping center, but the shopping center's developer has requested more space on the block. The City Planning Commission approved bill numbers, bills 160397 and 160398 in May 2016, rezoning the block and the block south along Ridge Avenue to enable the Housing Authority to build their headquarters and a shopping center. These bills author also authorize the city to strike and vacate Lambert Street, Woods Woodstock Street, and Redner Street within the block that Bill Number 190151 addresses. The Philadelphia City Planning Commission considered Bill Number 190151 its meeting of March 19th of this year and recommended it for approval. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Uh, thank you. Any questions for Mr. Gorski on this bill? Seeing none. Anybody else here to testify on this bill? Yeah. Please. Please identify yourself and proceed. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Judith Robinson, and I'm here to testify on Bill 190151. Gentrification is going on rapidly in our city. Gentrification is about land, it's about real estate, it's about economic development. The way that we can be inclusive in and managing of gentrification is that we know what's going on, we have knowledge of what's going on in our community. Now, this may be some minor zoning proposed change, but it's more than that. It's about some economic development, something going on in our community. When you know better, you could do better. So I'm here to just ask that every time you make a move in North Philly, whether it's changing land, changing land, wheeling and dealing, doing anything in North Philly, that you do some of this PR that you do when you want to do photo ops. See a lot of photo ops, you all running around, want to show your faces and everything. Make sure the people who reside in the community where you're making these decisions are aware <laughs> of what you're doing. Now, this is uh, changing commercial mixed use, taking out some residential, putting in some residential. What exactly is it? Yeah. Taking residential, making commercial, and not being inclusive of the people who live in those residents around. That's my major concern with these changes of the maps. The big PHA building was plopped on Ridge Avenue without a lot of input from the people who reside in the community. I know, because I was on the lower district so-called steering committee. We were like backseat drivers. No way that we know that eminent domain was going to be declared. We did not know that a PHA headquarters would be plopped on the commercial corridor, Ridge Avenue, small commercial corridor, big, huge building plopped. But you know that everything is not all good and everything is not all bad. 
we see a little bit of uh, increase in economic development as a result of that building being there. People go to the restaurants and buy lunch, et cetera. But we're talking about big development, big gentrification stuff going on in North Philly. I'm just here to serve notice on you. We are very, very concerned that when you all making decisions that you're not including the people who you ask for votes. Very much concerned about that. Some of you all are leaving, but you're hanging on to some of your power. Hmm. Okay. To do what? To do what? To make it better for people? Or just to continue white supremacy as we know it, not being inclusive of all. That's one thing about watching gentrification in real time. Damn, you see how we continue in white supremacy, we continue in racism, we're continuing economic deprivation, we continue all those things. So I know this is all about zoning, I know this is a minor thing, but I'm taking every opportunity to say what the hell I want to say to power. No more power than the creator. Sometimes you seem to forget that. That's where I'm coming from. That's okay. why I'm here. All right, thank you, ma'am. Thank Excuse you for your Excuse me, I didn't finish yet. Did I say right. I'm finished, you, you sir? Have to, we, we have to move on. We have other people here no, to no, testify. No, 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 no. Yeah. We the public can get an opportunity to speak. You don't rush me out of here. Well, ma'am, you, you made what? your statement. You made Based your statement. Based on what? You I didn't say I was finished yet. Yeah, well, can okay. I finish? I please, haven't been down here in a very please, long time. Please finish, ma'am. Please finish. Yeah, let so me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. What, you don't want to hear what I'm saying? Let me finish. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, don't rush me. I'm the public, remember? I'm the citizen. There's, there's I'm the ones on that everybody. you all don't hear from very often. Yeah. Just down here to shake it up a little bit. Don't worry, I'll finish it out. All right, please, ma'am, finish your testimony, Excuse me? please. Please finish your testimony. I'm speaking on a bill. It's about zoning, gentrification, changing the community, and then acting like you don't understand what you're doing. So in that regard, I'm just here regarding that. You're going to rush me off based on what? You don't want to hear what I'm saying. This is the only damn time we as citizens get to make you all hear <laughs> what we're saying because we got our little three minutes or five minutes or whatever rush job you want. That's why I'm only one person down here to speak. You're not going to have anybody else come after me and say what I'm saying. So listen to me because you know what? I'm speaking for a lot of other people who don't have the guts the time, the energy to come down here and say to you what I am. Get your mind right. Don't rush me. Have a great day. Thank you. Any other, anybody else to speak on bill number 190151? Seeing none. Uh, Ms. Marconi, our next bill, please. Bill number 180998 in ordinance amending title 14 of the Philadelphia Code entitled Zoning and Planning by amendment section 14-603 entitled Use Specific Standards to Revise the Standards and Procedures for Medical Marijuana Dispensaries under Certain Terms and Conditions. Thank you. Mr. Gugorski. Good morning, Chair Greenlee, members of the Rules Committee. I'm Marty Gugorski with the Planning Commission. I'm here to testify on bill number 180998, which was introduced in the City Council on November 15th of last year by Council Member Jones. Bill number 180998 amends the Philadelphia Zoning Code by requiring notification for any medical marijuana dispensary that is being applied for within the city's boundaries. The applicant will need to meet section 14-303, parent 12, parent D, initial notice from applicant to RCOs and others by providing notification to RCOs, district council members, and neighboring properties. The information provided shall include the name of the applicant, the location of the application, the description of the property, and the description of the application. Additionally, this bill will create an overlay within the 4th Council District to prohibit medical marijuana dispensaries along eight commercial corridors. Philadelphia City Planning Commission considered bill number 180998 at its meeting of December 11, 2018 and recommended that it not be approved. 
This decision was based on the principle that creating one use in the entire zoning code that has special notification requirements may prove to be exclusionary and possibly conflict with state law. Additionally, there are a number of other uses where medicine can be obtained, but there's no such notification requirement, such as pharmacies, doctor's offices, and clinics. This could create a dangerous precedent to other matter of right uses within the zoning code. I'd be happy to answer any questions at this time. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, any questions for Mr. Gorski? All right, seeing none, um, we have other people here to testify. I think they just want to state their position on, uh, on the record. Um, you just want to state the names? Ms. Marconi, please. Mike Reed, Crystal Morris, Terrence Foley, State Representative Morgan Sivas. If you could just state your name for the record and, I, and state your position, we'd appreciate it. Yeah. Michael Reed, I'm president of the Winfield Residents Association, and uh, we support the WRA supports bill numbers 1809898. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, please. Just state your name for the record. I'm Crystal Morris, zoning chair of the WRA, and I also stand in support of the bill. Thank you. I'm Sir? Terrence Foley. I'm the president of the City Avenue Special Services District, and I'm here to support bill number 1809998. Thank you. Thank you. Representative? Thank you, Chairman. I, State Representative Morgan Cephas for the 192nd, and I am in support of Bill Number 180998. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all very much. If there's any questions? No. Seeing none, thank you. <laughs> Lord, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. You want to say something? Okay. Councilman Jones? So, um, and we want to thank all the members of the committee for being in the quorum, while we get the last person for the quorum, I just want to say um, that I'm thankful for the community coming together. And I think um, it's fair to say that no one is against medical marijuana. We are against it at that location. Uh, one of the reasons is, is if you look at uh, the 1,000 feet rule, we will have three dispensaries if this goes through in one commercial corridor. I was taught uh, as a student of economics that if you put one hot dog stand, you, you have one reaction. You put three hot dog stands, you're known for hot dogs. So we want to make sure that City Avenue, which is a middle neighborhood, is not known for um, medical marijuana dispensaries. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank, one you. Have to thank you, Councilman. Uh, anyone else here testify on Bill Number One Eight Zero Nine Nine Eight? Seeing none. Um, we. You want to speak on this bill? Yes, sir. Please. Before you speak, before we're going to uh, temporarily recess this hearing, go into a public meeting of the committee, and the chair recognizes Councilman Squilla. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <sighs> I um, uh, move the amendment to bill number 180998. It's been Second. circulated to all members. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded on the amendment to bill number 180998. All in favor? Oh, so you Aye. all gonna Aye. do a little uh, uh, maneuver? Opposed. opposed? None opposed, the amendment passes. Councilman Squilla. I move <laughs> the bill number 180998 as amended and bill number 190151 be voted out of committee with a favorable recommendation of suspension of the rules to be read in the next session of council. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, bill number 180998 is amended and bill number 190151 is reported out of committee favorably with a rule suspension. Uh, that uh, uh, concludes our public meeting. We will now go into back into our public hearing. Ma'am, please. Please identify yourself and proceed. 
My name is Judith Robinson. I'm here to testify on bill number 180998 regarding medical marijuana and the dispensaries. This whole medical marijuana uh, uh, deal, wheeling and dealing in marijuana now, I see you talking about uh, it shouldn't be within a 500 feet area of a library, schools, daycare centers also. That's what we said about drugs, OPMs, every, all that. And we got willing and dealing with drugs all over the place, but here's what I want to say, because I'm here to speak on behalf of the people who got arrested for a $5 bag, or the people who got busted for selling weed over decades down in the city. Cut us in. Cut us in, okay? Cut us into the growing, cut us into the dispensaries, cut us in. This is an economic deal. Reduce the uh, laws that have people arrested for a couple bags, an ounce of weed, but now y'all ready to wheel and deal. So Pookie, Kareem, Simeon, all the brothers and sisters uptown, cut us in. Make sure we get uh, uh, opportunities with this. You state representatives here and there, this place should be packed. We're talking about economic development. So I'm just here today to be the conscience of you all. Not necessarily about this particular location. Bring it up north. We, can, we know a lot about the wheeling and dealing and weed. Bring it up north, okay? We make sure you're not too far. We got a lot of land up there. So as you all are wheeling and dealing and cutting deals, Make sure you cut in the folks that have been arrested and, and see if we can get them uh, some growing jobs or some kind of input in this. Thank you very much. Thank you. That concludes our public hearing. Thank, thank you to everyone for their participation.